statement about today's uh, bombing, you didn't mention Yasser Arafat. Uh, today, the President telephoned the leaders of India and Pakistan, urging them to take steps that will ease tensions in the region and reduce the risk of war. A message Deputy Secretary of State Armitage and Secretary of Defense Rumsfeld will reiterate during their visits to South Asia. The President reiterated to President Musharraf that the United States expects Pakistan to live up to the commitment Pakistan has made to end all support for terrorism. The President emphasized to Prime Minister Vajpayee in a phone call that ended literally just minutes ago the need for India to respond with de-escalatory steps. To both leaders, the President stressed the need to choose the path of diplomacy. But also the Palestinian people and their Did they give any signals that they are standing down, as it were, or de-escalating this crisis? I think the time will tell, David. Uh, they both understand the President's message, and the President's message is strongly that war doesn't serve either party. And um, the United States will continue to work very closely with each party, but time will tell. Right. The leaders of India and Pakistan, urging them to take steps that will ease tensions in the region. Uh, in regard to the homicide bombing in Israel this morning, the President condemns this brutal attack in the strongest possible terms. This attack underscores the fact that these terrorists are the worst enemies of not only the Israeli people, but also of the Palestinian people and their hopes for a better life and for all people who are concerned with peace. The attack underscores the need for the Palestinian Authority to create a security force that can stop and prevent these attacks. The attack also underscores the importance of the efforts by the United States and the international community to realize President Bush's vision for the region, as outlined in his April 4th speech, two states living side by side and peace and security. The President will continue his efforts and meetings in the coming days with President Mubarak and with Prime Minister Sharon. And uh, he will also, before his weekend meetings, hear reports from Director Tenet and Secretary Burns, who have been in the region. Usual round of intelligence briefings, followed by an FBI briefing.